Hey everyone, this is Wayne Schwartz again, uh, coming to you from Guam. And I just wanted to share with you, let me put this here so I don't have to hold it. Uh, okay, hopefully you can see me. Um, I'm just kind of coming in here today um, to tell you my top 10 guitar albums of the last, I'm going to say two years. Um, I know that goes back a little bit, but those of you that love shredding or love instrumental guitar, um, it helps to network or to um, help each other out. I know I'm always looking for new uh, guitar material, and usually through um, this, U uh, usually through YouTube or through uh, people that know uh, iTunes better than me, uh, I find uh, all the music, the guitar music that I want to listen to. So. Um, here are some of the, not in particular order of favorite, but here are the guitar albums of the last two years that I think that you should get. Uh, that if you're a real shredder or you love instrumental guitar or you love really rock and talented guitar, then these are the, the um, bands and individuals that you should look into. One is um, Joe Satriani's uh, Professor Satchel Funkless and the Mysterian of Rock. Um, if you haven't got that yet, you need to get it. It's an awesome album. came out in April 2008. It is incredible um, if you like instrumental guitar. Very melodic. The solos are complex. Very pleasing to the ear. Um, another one is Paul Gilbert's um, Silence followed by a deafening roar. Um, I got introduced to Paul Gilbert, of course, when he was with Racer X and, and doing things with, um, with them and then Mr. Big. But um, even now, as he's progressed over the years, he's done a lot of uh, instrumental or albums on his own. He's done a lot of clinics with Ibanez. And he had two um, instrumental releases. Actually, the other is Get Out of My Yard, which is another one I highly recommend. So Get Out of My Yard, which was released, I think, in 2006. And the latest that was just released is Silence Followed by a Deafening Roar. Um, another one is, I uh, hope I don't screw his name up. He's a, a Swedish guy, Matthias I. Eklund. Um, a freak guitar. Guy plays for Freak Kitchen. He is unreal. you got to check him out. He's also on MySpace, so check out his music. Um, it just makes your mind just, it's, it is what it says. It's freak guitar. It's incredible. Um, another guy, um, a friend of mine in Florida who I played guitar with back in the early 90s, uh, entered, uh, just the other day emailed me and said, you got to check out a guy called uh, Bumblefoot. Uh, Ron Tal, I guess is his name. I hope I pronounced his name right. I never heard of him before. Just got into some of his music. Again, this guy is unreal. <laughs> He taps with like heads, fingers, and toes. I'm busy. I'm busy. Uh, taps like with eight fingers, toes. I so I heard he just does all this crazy stuff. But when I listened to this music, it was pretty pretty intense. Um, another one, uh, Phil Kagi, a longtime Christian guitar player, who played with Glass Heart back in the '70s. Um, uh, Jimi Hendrix made a comment about him that he was the best guitarist in the world. In my opinion, he's one of the greatest. Uh, he came out with a bluesy release just recently called Jammed. You can check that out on iTunes. Awesome, awesome, awesome instrumental guitar work. Um, uh, Dave Weiner, who uh, played with Steve Vai in um, Steve Vai's band, uh, who has podcasts up on, on which I've learned so much from Dave Weiner. He is incredible. Um, he has a CD out called a Shove the Sun Aside, which just blew me away. He uses a seven string. He, just the way that he makes the guitar sing, just it, the melody stick in your head for sticks in your head for days, which to me is what really makes a guitar player stand out from from another one. Is if their metal melodies and their phrasing sticks in your head for days or months or years. Dave Weiner's one of those guys. I've learned a lot from Dave Weiner. So Dave, Wien, Dave, you're awesome. Uh, so shove the sun aside. A must get. Uh, Steve, I. Um, um, although it's been a little while, um, he's had two albums, um, which I recommend if you're uh, if you're into um, a little bit different sounding music with guitar. One is Sound Theories uh, that he came out with recently, which he plays with an orchestra, and the other is um, Real Illusions Reflections, which is an excellent album. Uh, I highly recommend that. Um, uh, that and that's. Uh, about all of them that I've listened to recently. Uh, some of the bands, uh, guitar players, that just came out with stuff that I highly recommend over the last two years or year. Uh, one is King's X just came out with a new album. 
which Ty Tabor, who I think is incredible since the, again, the early 80s, uh, Ty Tabor is the guitarist for King's X. Um, they just came out with an album called 15, which is Roman numeral X and 5. That's, that's a must get for guitar players if you're really into just crunch guitar. Um, also, King's X, you know, they're known for tuning down their guitars, you know, to low C, sometimes even low, uh, low, like a seven string, a low B. So, check them out. Um, and, uh, who else have I been listening to? Um... Uh, pretty much does it, I think. Oh, no. Sorry. There's some more. I discovered a guy on uh, MySpace called, uh, his name is Neil Zaza. He's another one. Uh, Gravity is one that I just got from him off iTunes. Incredible. The guy, when he does his bends and his tone, it's just so sweet. Uh, so, and he has some other ones, too. Uh, Sing is another one that he's done. And there are some other past albums. I checked them all out, and they're all very, very nice. Uh, Andy Timmons is another one um, called, um, I believe it's called Resolution or Revolution. I have to check on that. I think it's Resolution. Uh, I've got that last year. Incredible. He's played with Joe a couple times. Um, he's also an Ibanez endorser. Um, so uh, Andy Timmons is another one that if you're a shredder, you should, you should definitely check out. So those are my picks for top guitar albums of the last year or two. Uh, please check them out. And uh, I know you will love them. All right. Well, this is Wayne Schwartz from Guam. Uh, I'm going to put more Joe music up soon. And I'll do my best, you know, as guitar players when we play at home. You know, some of us aren't famous. So that's YouTube is cool. But we just love to play. I love to play. And uh, I'm kind of pulling stuff that I learned from before. So I'll put more Joe tunes up soon. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, excuse, sorry for the bad editing or not practice, but we're just normal people. So I hope you liked it. God bless. Uh, I'll see you next time.